And joining me now is Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. Uh, Secretary of State Griswold, thanks for joining us tonight. What, what is your reaction to this ruling in Maine disqualifying Trump from the ballot there? Well, thanks for having me on. Good evening. I think it's a good thing that Secretary Bellows followed and incited with the Colorado Supreme Court's decision, which ultimately disqualifies Trump. Look, Trump engaged in an insurrection. He incited a, a violent group to try to stop the peaceful transfer of the presidency. Uh, and the Constitution clearly bars someone who swears to uphold the Constitution and, and then does those types of actions from serving again. So I think it's uh, the right decision and also courageous uh, because the atmosphere we're living in uh, leads to a lot of threats and threats of, of violence. So you do have to have bravery to, to make the right decisions. Mm. Colorado, it seems, was uh, cited heavily in this decision. Is Colorado now the model for not just Maine, but other states who are seeking to disqualify Trump from the ballot? There has only been two courts in the United States that have examined whether Trump did engage in insurrection. Those two courts are in Colorado, and they both determined he did engage in insurrection. So from that point of view, uh, there's a really strong precedent being made in Colorado. Now, whether other states will follow, I can't answer that. But I, I do think um, there is a, a good chance that the United States Supreme Court decides to take up the case and, and weigh in. Yeah. I mean, to that point, do you think that Maine could have or should have waited for the Supreme Court to weigh in on the Colorado case before making this decision themselves? I don't think it's possible to wait. At the end of the day, presidential primaries are coming up very soon, very quickly. They're right around the corner. For the state of Colorado, I have to certify which candidates are going to be on the ballot next week, Friday, on January 5th. So secretaries of state need to act. All of our states have different laws, different processes. Um, but I'm sure uh, uh, Secretary Bellows followed her law, and she needs to ultimately decide whether or not Trump is on the ballot. I think she has made her decision um, very cautiously, much like the Colorado Supreme Court, holding the decision if an appeals it is filed. And what we've seen play out in Colorado is an appeal was filed by the Colorado Republican Party for the U.S. Supreme Court to review. So flipping back to the state of Colorado, Trump is back on the ballot now in the state of Colorado because that appeal was filed. Uh, and then we'll again have to wait to see how the Supreme Court acts. Right. So some Republicans have called this voter suppression. What would you say to them? Voter suppression is a presidential candidate trying to steal the presidency from the American people. Voter suppression or voter disenfranchisement is Donald Trump inciting a violent mob, some of whom's members were intent uh, to hang the vice president of the United States for him to steal the presidency. That's voter suppression. That's trying to steal an election from the American people. We are only at the situation because of Donald Trump's actions. And Section 3 of the 14th Amendment says in very clear words what happens when someone engages in rebellion or insurrection and tries to hold office again. So, you know, at the end of the day, we have to wait to see if the courts decide to take, the U.S. Supreme Court decides to take this case, uh, what they say. But I, I do not see this as voter suppressive. I think Donald Trump's repeated actions are what we really need to worry about in this country. Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, thanks for staying up for us.